Hello, it's Grandmoose. Today we're gonna read a story called The Littlest Easter Bunny. This has been our little theme this year, hasn't it? Penny was a bunny. She lived with her family in a, in a warren in Easter Town. There were many bunnies in Penny's community. I'm gonna have to look that up. What's a warren? It was springtime and Penny was excited. This year she would get to help the town prepare for Easter. There were so many important jobs to get the Easter Bunny ready for the holiday. Penny just had to find the right one. Penny's first stop was the Easter egg painting studio. These animals were artists. They painted all the eggs the Easter Bunny hid. Penny's sister, Bay, showed her how to dip an egg in the dye, but the vat of dye was very big. Oh, Penny. Penny's next stop was her brother Sweet Shop. Baxter made his biggest, most delicious marshmallow chicks and chocolate bunnies in the whole town. Baxter showed Penny how to pour the melted chocolate into the molds. Penny, Baxter asked, looking around. Maybe you'll be better helping Mumsy, Baxter suggested. Penny hopped to her mother's basket weaving workshop. The Easter Bunny needs a lot of basket for his deliveries. Weaving was more complicated than it looked. Penny got dizzy and spun in a circle, then crash. Oh dear, said Penny's mother. Why don't you go see Popsy? Penny's father supervised the crew who filled the Easter baskets with treats. Add the grass then the chocolate bunnies, then the eggs, and special surprises inside, Poppy instructed. The other animals worked so fast, Penny's tiny paws couldn't keep up. Popsy peered into Penny's almost empty basket. Maybe next year, sweet girl, he said gently. Penny hopped outside, but it wasn't a happy, snappy springtime hop. It was a sad, partly cloudy day hop. There had been one special Easter job she could do, even if she was little. Just then, Penny heard a noise coming from an azalea bush. She peeked inside to find Peck the chick, and he was little, just like Penny. Peck was pouty sad too. All the other chicks have found their special Easter jobs, he explained, except for me. Penny didn't like to see someone sad. She thought about how to make Peck happy. Then she got an idea big enough for the both of them. With a little help from Penny's family, Penny and Peck started making their own Easter baskets filled with treats. Easter day was almost here. The whole town was bustling about helping prepare the Easter Bunny for the big morning. Suddenly, Bay and Baxter hopped past. The Easter Bunny's egg hiders caught spring fever. They can go with him. Penny and Peck looked at each other. We can do it, Penny cried. You're too little, Baxter said. The Easter Bunny needs little helpers, Penny argued. We can find the best hiding places. Penny and Peck sprang into action. They took their mini baskets to the Easter Bunny's office. They told him all the reasons why they were the perfect egg hiders and showed him the tiny treasures they'd made for kids who were little just like them. The Easter Bunny listened quietly. Finally, he cleared his throat and said, I think you may be right. Penny and Peck 
had the best time ever helping the Easter Bunny hide all the eggs. They found new and clever hiding spots and their mini Easter baskets were perfect for the littlest kids to find. <clears throat> they returned to Easter Town with big smiles and even bigger stories to tell. Their families were so proud. It turned out that Penny and Peck were not too little to have important jobs on Easter. <coughs> but more than that, they were not too little to make a friend because sometimes the most special things are also the littlest. The end.